Hello, today I'm posting a video regarding PCO travel. How do I apply for a PCO license? Okay, there is a you must be 21 year old, you must hold a license for three years, you must have the right to live and work in the UK, then you can apply for the PCO license. There is a many stage involved in the application process. We will check in this video all of them step by step. First of all, use the official website of the TFLs. There is a many private provider, they offering the same service, but they will charge you different prices. So make sure that you use the official side of the TFLs. <clears throat> so now click on the TFL link so you will get this page i just put how to become a pco driver on a google so the first place is coming so this is the official page for the transport for london so when you click on it so you will get this page so you need to observe and read from the first part to the end part so i will take you to the end area because to check out how much the whole process will cost you there is a many stages involved i will discuss with you in a video later on and i will provide all the links in a video description so it will help you to get the easily official pages so now just go to the bottom of the page hi go here how much will my application cost so you can see the breakdown is here so dbs disclosure application process 52 online 54 paper one license application p is a 124 grant of license fees 186 post office charges is 715 speaking and listening if you have a problem so it's cost to 36 topographical assessment is 36 zero assessment is 36 is not including the medical and uh, the optician charges so the medical vary some gp charges 80 some gp charge 100 some gp charge 120 plus the optician will charge you 20 pounds so make sure that before you go into the gp so you go to the optician to do the first i1 then you can fill from your gp the especially the medical forms so must go to your own gp because they will ask you the you to holding your records okay before doing online so what do you need more let's go what stages you need to complete step by step okay hi god take the following steps complete criminal dbs check pass medical test from your gp holding your medical history i test before going gp okay so here i mentioned earlier you should do before the optician then you can go to the medicals and must go to your own gp if you want to do from the private gp so make sure that the private gp ask for your history otherwise your application will be get delay when you going to apply for the pco license online registration form on the same time you need to apply for the dbs because the dbs sometimes take long uh, to get the dbs and it can delay your application process so now let's go to the official side of the TFL where you can put your detail and register it with the TFLs. When you register with the TFL, you will be get a two option. One is online and one is via post. So it's up to you if you want to request the pack. So they will send you the pack and your home address. So that one you can submit, you can fill it and submit it then complete all the process. So here, if when you click on the start your application by registering online so you will get this page taxi and private hire so you need to click on it to here is some reason they're not showing it so let's create your online accounts so when you create your online account this account make sure that you will keep remember your password and the memory word you will use and the future as well when you 
renewing your license even if you want to see the stages so where is your application and the pending are approval so you can see it from your account so here is a small very the personal information is so as a simple application mr your first name second name email address phone number and after this one this is for the driver who holding the license if you're not holding the license you can click on now and the third one is when you have to have keep the basic ID password and memory word and write down somewhere maybe in the future you need this one when you register yourself after the registration they will send you the email and your email address so you just click on it to confirm your email when you confirm your email then you can sign in when you sign in there will be a two options to apply for the private hire driver license so they will ask you you want to apply online or you want to apply for the hard copy so it's up to you if you want to do online so in online there is only hard one hurdle then you need to take a print out the medical form plus the optician form to check from the to fill up from the doctor and opticians okay this first one now after the registering with the tfl then you need to do the criminal checks so the criminal checks you can do only from the tfl providers you cannot do from the all uh, online available so you can do only from the tfl provider so tfl official one is the gbg so the link is already provided in the end of the description so you can see over there okay, this is a very simple one as well our link is even provided in the first page of the uh, first of the page of the gbg and when you click on it so they will ask your pin number so when you get the pack you will see the pin number and uh, especially the organization or name and secret word as well so it's clearly no showing here on this page for some reason but the link is there when you click on the link they will ask you the very simple questions your name and your email address and your pin number after the registering with him please make sure that you're holding a two identity documents bank statement passport and driving license they will ask you and that you will need to take to the pp like uh, to the post office where they can check your passport or bank statement after the completion this one they will you will receive the email the reference number the reference number you need to put on the application form so you have to do when you register register with the tfl when you get the pack so you have to do it the same day the dbs is very important you will receive the application reference within the seven days from via email okay when you go to the medical gp i mentioned earlier to you as well so make sure that before going to the doctor you do the optician because if you go to the gp they will send you back to the optician do the first i1 so if you go to the, any optician private optician they will charge you 20 to 25 pound and then you can go to your gp but make sure you go to the gp and he holding your history there will be a one question and the application form they will ask you the gp holding your history if he holding your history will be easy for you after this one you will need to do the complete tax check so this is the new requirement of the tfl so that one you have to do and you, you can generate where you can generate like nine character words so you need to provide to the pco as well that one here is a many option available see taxi driver private hire driver so use the private hire drivers if you go in the bottom of the page so you can start the application here and it's a very simple and easy one you can just fill it and after the completion and filling the form and they will generate the nine characters secret words so you need to share with the tfl and application form and this one is only valid for 120 days so after 120 days it will expire maybe tfl ask you again then Here you see you can see now start now when you start now so there is a few steps after this one you need to do the license code the license codes i can advise you do not do in advance when you are going to submit your application do on the same days from the driving license uh, page so i already provided the link so where you can put the few details after this one you can generate your license code this is only valid for 21 days keep in mind so do when the last day when you are going to submit the application forms after this one you will get the email when you submit your application regarding zero and topographical tests so you can watch my videos and uh, i mentioned a couple of videos of the topographical and zero if you still need the help so you can keep in touch so i will try my best to help you in both is zero and topographicals and uh, all the links is here if you need more help so you can send me a text you can send me a 
any comments and I will re respond to you very quickly and uh, if you need still any help my phone number is available on my channels so you can uh, keep in touch I will try my best to help you thank you very much